This is not good. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, as a matter of fact, this is more of an emotional video to me um, because of what happened this past week. So if you guys have heard about it or read in the news, um, there is um, there was a teenager that committed suicide because um, they found this a uh, huge uh, negative balance in their portfolio. So I'm not gonna use the name of the company and I'm not gonna mention the name of the, the, the teenager because I don't know about legal liabilities. So I wanted to absolve myself of that and not worry about it. So I'm not gonna use the names, but if you just look online and look at teenager commit suicide, um, you're gonna see something like that in the news. So this kid um, was investing in the stock market and uh, trading options and then found that he had a negative balance of about $750,000 and that, I mean, thinking about it as a teenager, like where do I take the money to pay this off and stuff like that. So he took the easy uh, way out, which is kill himself for him. That was easy because like, hey, then I don't have to worry about paying for this. Whereas, um, I mean, this is just money uh, in my opinion, but I, I think, uh, you know, my heart goes out to you know, his family and his loved ones because this is not where you want somebody to end up. So when we talk about investing, you know, we talk about time being your friend. If you start early, the, the, the earlier you start investing, the better for you. Um, you know, if you put $10 today uh, in the stock market, it's worth more than $10 tomorrow in the stock market. And we use all those to try to encourage people to start investing early. But um, in this day and age, we don't really take the time to teach people about the risk is all we talk about is just making money and making money. Nobody talk about the fact that you can actually lose money in the stock market. I mean, you can lose everything in the stock market. And so when you go talk to a financial advisor, usually they'll ask you uh, questions like, you know, uh, what do you want? What are you looking for in the stock market? Uh, what's your risk tolerance? You know, they'll ask those questions. They're not just asking because they, you know, they want to ask. They're asking because based on your risk tolerance, they would find uh, investments that would meet you need so that tomorrow you don't lose all your money and go commit suicide right which is a really really bad thing so they'll ask you that so when we teach these young kids on uh, you know, how to invest and then we've given them the tools which is great because back in the days we didn't have all these tools now just at the tip of your fingers you have all these different platforms um commission free platforms that you can just whip out your phone and just within say 30 minutes you've signed up and you're ready to trade um, at the same time, it means that within 30 minutes, you sign up and you're ready to lose all your savings. That's another way of looking at it, right? You're ready to make some money or you're ready to, to lose money because the stock market is, um, when, you, when you're making money off of the stock market, it's not necessarily that everybody makes money. That money is coming from somewhere. Somebody's losing money in the stock market. That's just the nature. Um, and then I can take another analogy here just to kind of give you guys some perspective. You, if you realize that people that invest in the stock market, the younger you are, you take more risk. And then as you get older, you start to minimize your risk. People start investing in bonds and stuff like that when they start approaching retirement. So assume that you were 60, um, you're ready to retire, or let me say 55, you're ready to retire. And then bam, we get this huge crash um that completely wipes out the market let's say we get a 2008 which is going to take another 10 or 15 years before it can recover at, at that age you're sitting there's like whoa i need i want to retire in five years but now the stock market needs 10 years to recover what am i going to do right so um the lesson here is that once you you get in the stock market you start investing um don't focus solely on making money um Focus on minimizing your risk. Yes, you want to make money, but minimize your risk because um, the issue is not that people are investing. The issue is that most people want to get 
rich quick. They want to drive their Lamborghinis. They want to be flashy. They want to be taking vacation, flying private airplanes and stuff like that. That's the route. And those are the people that would find themselves in a, a situation like that because all you want is like, I want to be rich like tomorrow. So uh, go in with a sense that, hey, this thing is, is over the long run. Do your proper research and then don't risk something that you're not willing to lose. Any money that you put in the stock market from day one, count that money out that you can lose that money anytime. And ask yourself a question. If I lose that money, can I walk away and, and feel comfortable? Can I walk away and still have a roof over my head? If you say no to any of those questions, please, I'm telling you, don't put that money in the stock market. Don't. Only invest the money that you are willing to lose. I don't care how safe an investment it is because uh, we don't know. Tomorrow, you can hear something come out of the news from the Middle East or anywhere and the market goes crashing. Are you comfortable? Can you put a roof over your head? Myself included, I have a ton of money in the stock market. And if the market would have crashed completely today, I'll be in trouble. And so this is giving me the opportunity to rethink again um, and start looking at even other investing options like real estate and stuff like that. That's really tangible um, because it, just come to think about it, the stock market, it's, it's more of a, well, say an illusion because you see money you see the price going up and with a blink of, a, of an eye, that price can go down and there's no guarantee that you're going to make money in the stock market. That's crazy. So, um, again, I, I really feel bad for this kid that actually, you know, killed himself. Um, that's not the news that we want to hear. We want to hear that we're teaching our young ones how to invest, invest wisely. We're teaching them how to take risk. Um, we're teaching them how to minimize their risk. Um, and we're teaching them to invest for the long run, um, not try to get rich quick, um, not trying to buy Lamborghinis and not trying to fly uh, private airplanes because um, you see some channels here on YouTube uh, really promoting that kind of a lifestyle, which is not healthy. Uh, and so um, just from an emotional standpoint, when the kids start doing it and they don't make that kind of success, emotionally they get depressed. So um, let's teach them that investing is for the long run. Um, investing should be uh, one of your strategies, but it shouldn't be everything to you. Um, that would be my advice. Again, my heart goes out to the family. So question of the day, let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about this situation? Do you think that uh, we're doing a really bad job at educating uh, the risk of the stock market or just uh, educating people about the risk involved with investing? Or do you think, hey, you go into the stock market, you knew what you were getting yourself into, so that's on you. Again, let me know in the comment section. Um, and as always, you know, stay safe, um, ask questions if you don't know what you're doing. Don't put your money where you're not willing to lose it. And always, always make sure that when you invest, know that you're investing for the long run and know that that money can disappear at any time. Stay motivated, guys.